how are we doing today? This is Cool Piece of Doc. Today we're going to be building a button box. Or the start of it. I'm going to go through the list of all the things that you're going to need to build a button box. This button box can be with games like ATS, ETS, I believe with iRacing, program controls for your thing. So basically it's just a USB device that plugs into your PC that you can programmable keys or switches or toggles. Um, I'm using some fancy stuff, so we're going to get into that. Um, so without further ado, we are going to my um, play table. Hey, nothing there right now. We're going to kill the music. Because it's echoing, I got. Uh, I'm going to kill it on at the source. Alright, because it's picking up on my mic. And that's fine. I just don't want it on my mic. Okay. Alright, here we go. My first item on, on this uh, thing, and I've taken the screws out already, is the case. I, this is a, sh got a shiny finish on it, so I'm just real thrilled with that. I'm going to have to scuff the finish up with some sandpaper to take the shine off when I put my contact paper on. Okay, so it shows up, the shiny finish shows up virtually any and every kind of thing you can imagine, but we're taking the screws out. This box comes with a gasket, so uh, you can press it into here and you can um, make it uh, fit to seal, make a seal for your box. I don't need a seal, I'm gonna put the seal in anyway but I don't really need a seal inside here there's places where you could where you could mount circuit boards or things of that nature we are not going to be using those screw holes um, with this so so that being said we're gonna put this box aside this is gonna be the main main but this is gonna be the front of the of the game of the of the button box so this is going to be the front surface it's going to lay sit there like that all right some of the other things that i got this is really pretty cool stuff okay i couldn't find didn't know exactly what size grommet i was going to need for the usb cord cable and everything to go through so i had to buy a variety of grommets and then I'm going to have to drill the appropriate size hole, use the appropriate size grommet. So this is uh, my assortment box of grommets. These cost $9.99. The big case cost me $28 and some change. So I will put a, a product list on, on my whole site for all the different things that we're going through. Now, I, I got a box of of different size shrink tube. Okay, this is just a multi-pack. It's, it, it, it's really necessary to have it. So once you put get your wires plugged on, you want to you I want to make sure that over the little wire connections that that go on here that plug onto these and some of these I'm going to actually have to do some soldering if I use some of these smaller push button switches. So, because I'm going to have to do soldering, I'm going to want to, you know, I'm going to have to cut ends off of the things, and then we're going to use a shrink tube and melt it down around the wire so that we keep the contacts from getting corroded. So, got the assortment size. This was like eight bucks, okay? This is going to last me for all the many other electronic projects that I might do in my life. So, it, that's a very cool thing. The next item going on display. Oop, I dropped a piece of shrink tube here. So let's uh, put that away so we don't want to lose. Don't want to lose any, even though I have a big assortment case. Now, this is a two to one on this uh, shrink tube. This is a two to one shrink ratio. So it'll shrink down half. This It'll, it'll be half the size when it's finished shrinking down. Okay, now this is the part 
of this box. This is the brains of the box. Comes with a little instruction sheet. Um, comes with a QR co code. There's DIY d tutorials that you can use to uh, scan two-dimensional code. So very, very cool. Um, there's lots of other things that you can build with this. But this just happens to be what I'm going to be choosing to do with it because it's very simple, straightforward. You plug everything's going to be plug and play. So this is the actual board. This is where your USB plugs into the uh, to the uh, circuit board. These are where your wires plug up to your switches, um, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's a little chip on here. So it's very simple, easy to use. There's no fancy dancy wiring that I need to know of to do this. They give you the, they supply you with all the cabling, which I'll show you that next. These are all the many different cables that uh, they use to connect to the push buttons, switches, and toggles. And like I said, some of these ends I will have, these white ends, I will have to snipper off <coughs> and solder them directly to switches, which is, which is fine. I'm, I'm an expert at soldering. That's one of the things I did in the military. And this is the, the cable, the USB cable that plugs into the PC end. So it goes to a standard USB 2, 3, or 3. Uh, port on your PC and then this plugs this other end. It looks like a little printer cable. It actually plugs directly into the circuit board so, All very simple plug-and-play items. This is the heart of What makes the button box? The button box. This is basically just a game controller um, so that, That's really the nuts and bolts, that's the heart of what we're building. Okay, now the fun, the fun stuff. I've got my case here. I've got five of these uh, toggles switches. Okay, this is just a uh, on off kind of toggle switch. It's got multiple connections on the bottom, so you could utilize it for multiple different things simultaneously. You could control two things at once. We're not going to be doing that. This is going to be a standard push to turn on, push to turn off. I've got five of the green. I've got five of the black, five of the red. And these come with a, I can look at it here. Oh, I keep throwing these things around. They come with a little nut that's uh, already screwed on them. So you have to be careful when taking it off, but these will come off. It comes with little prongs on the nut so that it will bind up to whatever you're tightening it into. Okay. Now I've got some some push push button switches here that are just on off. You, it's more like works more like a keyboard push button. You push it like a keyboard. When you release it, it opens the circuit again. So this is the push button type, and I've got three of the three of the black. Three of the green button. I've got assortment of three of the red buttons. I've got three of the blue buttons. And I've got three of the yellow buttons. Okay, I don't know whether I'm going to use them all, but over here we've got that go with those. We've got the nuts 
And we've got over in this other little fancy compartment here, if I can get one out. We've got the little locking rings that'll lock it down so that when you tighten the nut down, they stay locked in place and they don't move on you. Okay, now I got this other little fancy dancy item. It's an ignition switch. Okay, so this is something you could put into a car. Very basic ignition switch. It comes with keys. I'm going to use this to for starting the for the first position on this this is going to be to turn the power on. Then when you get to the spring loaded part, that's going to be to start your truck. And then when you turn it off, that will turn the power off on the truck. In theory. In theory. So we're going to find out how that's going to work when I get this thing put in here. But I think it's just kind of cool. Now I got these other I got these other switches. They got they come with a a little cover that you can mount onto them. These are going to be toggle switches. These are going to be used something like this. I'm going to use something like this along with this switch. This is a toggle on or off. I'm going to use this to turn on headlights, turn off headlights, that sort of thing. So that's what this switch is going to be. Okay. And it's got a little LED light on the. I can get my pink, big, fat finger out on the end here. There's going to be an LED light that will light up. And this cover will. I'm going to piece one, to, just temporarily put one together so you can see what it's going to look like. I won't tighten everything down on here per se permanently. So I have a little cover. Uh, These will only go on one way, these covers, so you can't do it wrong. Then you'll put your little lock, locking washer and then your um, nut on here. And yes, I'm, this is really hard to do with having the thumb cut open. Snug this down just a little so you get an idea. So once it's mounted on the box, you, you'll, you'll see just the front face of this. Uh, let's see if I can. And so then you'll lift this up and you turn your headlights on and turn them off. You'll pop it down. Okay, so that's in the off position. That's going to be the on. So this is going to be, this is what's really cool is these are just going to be lit up. So I kind of thought this was a little clever way of doing this. But I'm going to take this back off of here because they don't fit in my box the way I want them to right now. And that would be the last feature I put on on, on here. So I'm going to uh, this back on just over here. And this is my video for, for YouTube for today that I'm doing. And I've got the same style of toggles with uh, the green covers. So I've got three of the green, three of the blue. Um, so that is all the little finer pieces and nuts and bolts. And the three different packs of the the two uh, the three packs of the blue blue and green toggle switches. Those cost about nine dollars for the three pack the other two packs of different kinds of uh, toggle switches and push button switches they cost about nine dollars a piece eight dollars a piece so i really didn't spend a lot of money uh, on getting all the things that i need now i have i'm gonna have to get a little bit of solder and i'm gonna have to get uh some uh soldering flux 
and I'm thinking about purchasing a new soldering iron for this project with some little hands so it'll make soldering wires in a little bit easier. <coughs> so that is in a nutshell the components that are needed for building the, the box. Now, I'm a rookie at this. Okay, I equate building a, a button box for ATS, I equate it to Star Wars. Okay. It, well, what do I mean by that? Well, in the movies, in the Star Wars movies, uh, when you're going through your Jedi training and you want to become a Jedi Knight, uh, one of the things that you have to do as a Padawan learner, a Padawan, is you have to construct a lightsaber. Or if you're in that uh, position where you're, you're a you're, you're wanting to become a Sith Lord. Why? I don't know why you're going down the path of dark. But when you're the apprentice to the Sith Lord, one of your tasks is to build your lightsaber. That's that's just a given. There's, that shows your skills, your knowledge of things that that can be created and used to help you with. So all very easy fun stuff very cool so i got that idea and i equate the button box to that the fact that i've been playing american truck simulator game stream and my gaming rig has evolved it went from playing on controller to steering wheel really good steering wheel to having a shifter now, the last thing I need is my custom button box to make my game complete. I got a programmable keyboard that I use for like a button box, but it's off to the side. It's hard to get. I want it mounted onto my steering wheel stand in front of me so that I can not take my eyes off the screen and I can flip a lid up and flip a switch on, flip a switch off, and feel like I am in my truck. So, if you like this video, give me a subscribe. If you really like this video and you want to see me do some gameplay, check me out on, on https colon forward slash forward slash cool, uh, twitch.tv forward slash cool piece doc there you'll find my channel i do not have a set schedule at this point in time um but if you really like the content there give me a follow if you really like the content you can also subscribe to me it means a lot um to me if you subscribe i also take so if you if you have Amazon Prime and you want to get subscribed to my channel through Amazon Prime, I take Prime sub. Sorry, it's it's been a wild wild ride, but I take Prime subs. And again, I'll put links on my page, to my Twitch, uh, on the Twitch page, and I will have pay, uh, links on on in the description on this video for where I found this stuff everything like that because I found it all on Amazon so I got a little bit of work to do on putting this uh, out this video but thanks again for watching thanks again for uh, subscribing to me here on YouTube and leave your comments below I appreciate it thanks have a great day